if you put two people in a bubble and you can only live, which quarantine is doing to people, put everybody in a bubble, you know, for three, four months and say, well, actually my, my daughter said a hundred, she told me the other day, daddy, do you know we've been quarantined for 103 days? When you put people like that, to put people in a bubble together and you force them to have to have difficult conversations, you force them to have to have those uncomfortable conversations. What it does is you grow from it because you learn the other side's perspective. Put the racist and the, and, and the anti-racist in the same room and let them have a conversation, but where they listen to one another. Not saying that the racist is gonna walk off and all of a sudden say, I'm so sorry for what we've done. Not saying the anti-racist is gonna be like, oh, I'm sympathetic to what you believe. No, but it's gonna be able to give you a, a, a perspective of what they see. And the only way you're gonna get that perspective is to listen to what they say.